Hello and welcome to another episode of the Organic Adventure Show. I am Sai, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about black beans, specifically the benefits and uric acid, or uric acid demystifying it, um, or demystified. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get on with it. Um, what are some of the benefits of eating black beans? Well, they're good for your heart. Why are they good for your heart? They're high in magnesium. Um, they contain about 30% of our daily need for magnesium, um, which um, helps to reduce the risk of heart attack. And um, folic acid, um, which also reduces homocysteine levels, um, which are directly connected um, to increased levels or increased heart attack. Okay, so they're also the number one source of antioxidants of all beans. They contain anthocyanins like those found in grapes and they also contain polyphenols, um, some of which are tannins, which I'm gonna get into because um, that is one of the negative things about black beans, but it doesn't turn out to be too negative in this case. Um, so antioxidant levels are 10 times that of oranges approximately. Um, and they're similar to the amounts found in cranberries and grapes. And uh, if I didn't mention it, yeah, I did, but anthocyanins are, are like those found in grapes. Okay, so let's get into a little of the basic nutritional value from black beans. Um, one cup of cooked black beans contain 60% of your daily value for folate or folic acid, 30% um, of magnesium, and folate and magnesium, as I mentioned before, are good for your heart. And folic acid is related to lowering the homocysteine levels. Um, and folic acid also reduces uric acid levels in the body, which is something else I'm going to be talk about, talking about. So just a good thing to know right now. 22% um, of the iron um, is also found in one cup of cooked beans, black beans. Um, which is important for energy metabolism and creating hemoglobin. 56% um, of tryptophan, about 30% of your daily need for protein, and 38% of manganese, which is required to create superoxide dismutase, which um, disarms free radicals in mitochondria. <laughs> Um, also contains about 12% of zinc, which is good for your immune system, and about 7.5% of omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for your brain. And I didn't know that there was that significant of amount of omega-3 fatty acids in black beans, even though it might not seem like a lot, it, it's something. Um, has soluble and insoluble fiber. So soluble fiber helps to keep your blood sugar levels regulated. Um, in your stomach, it forms a gel, and that slows down the metabolism of carbohydrates, which is good for you in keeping your blood sugar levels balanced. And um, this also contributes to slow, steady burning energy. Um, it burns for a long time um, based upon the fact that this gel slows down the metabolism. And also, um, soluble fiber helps to lower cholesterol. Um, insoluble fiber keeps everything moving, which most people know, um, which can prevent things like irritable bowel syndrome and constipation. And um, it also contain, black beans one cup also contain 172% of molybdenum, um, which detoxifies sulfites found in things like wine and also used as a food preservative in prepared foods in a lot of situations. So um, if you're eating black beans in a restaurant, it um, could help to detoxify sulfites found in the food that they have there. Okay, now, um, I talked about tannins before. So although um, black beans contain tannins, which can prevent some protein absorption and some iron um, absorption, they still contain significant enough amounts that you still get a lot of the benefit of the protein and iron. And one of the things that is a good thing to know is that vitamin C can increase the amounts of iron that you absorb three to six times the amount that you would 
um, normally absorb. And this is very important to know. And this also, so it reduces the effects of the tannins on um, preventing the absorption of irons and proteins. This is just a good thing to know. Um, and it's still considered, black beans are still considered a good source of um, iron for pregnant and lactating women, which says a lot. Now, let's see here, where are we moving on to? Okay, basic preparation of black beans. Um, you're gonna need about three cups of water per cup of beans. And what you wanna do is soak them overnight for the best results. And this reduces things like tannins as well. Um, six to eight hours is a good enough soaking time. And after they've been soaked, you're gonna want to drain off that water and rinse them. And then you can cook them for about an hour in a regular pan covered, or if you were using a pressure cooker, it would only take about a half an hour. And you want to season and salt your beans after cooking them to avoid longer cooking times and tough beans. Um, that sounds funny, tough beans. So yeah, you don't wanna put the salt on them before they're cooked and soft, because um, it is going to increase the cooking times. Um, and moving on here, let's talk a little bit about uric acid since or because uric acid um, is one of the things that is contained in black beans.